Another note about synthetics is rayon and modal. They fall under the category of synthetic fibers because they're manufactured in a synthetic way, which is to melt down a material and strew it out of a shower head into a cooling chamber, and that's how uh, yarns are created. And those yarns are then twisted into threads and so on, and then woven into fabric. So um, modal and rayon are actually melted down plant material, usually uh, flax, jute, um, sometimes tree bark. It's actually melted down and turned into a fiber synthetically out of natural fibers. So it burns like cotton, it smells like wool, it is safe to spin in. You will usually find it blended with other fabrics. So here I have a rayon wool blend and a rayon spandex blend from one of my favorite shirts. Rayon spandex. Rayon spandex blend, 5% spandex, 95% rayon. Looks like a natural burn. It's accelerating. What's left, pretty ashy. There's a little meltiness in there. There's some synthetics. Generally though, it's not melting to my skin. So 5% spandex, 95% rayon. I'd wear it and spin fire. Rayon and wool. It's not as self-extinguishing as wool on its own. What's left is a coal, ashy coal. Pretty cool to the touch. No plastic sticking to my fingers. Safe to spin in. So rayon and modal, synthetically made of natural fibers, safe to spin in. And we're back with melting polyester and silk side by side. Polyester, all that's left is dripping flaming bits. Silk, naturally burning, creating embers. No meltiness, big meltiness. Up next is real leather. Leather is protein based, so this is a natural fiber, and it's just like our skin, it can't really catch on fire. It will shrivel and scar. Um, and this is a nylon imitation leather. Is it safe to spin in? Let's find out. Leather's not going to burn. It'll curl up and the fire will lick the edges and it can get trapped in between these two layers of leather. There's some fuel transfer. I'm actually surprised it's burning. And here's the synthetic. All right, I just learned that I could get leather to catch on fire. There it is burning. And the synthetic, you can see, is dripping and melting.
Yep, still burning like a coal. This is burning like dripping plastic and fabrics. That's my specialty as a designer of Third Earth Fireproof. There are inherently flame retardant fabrics that are made from fibers that cannot ignite. And then there are treated flame retardant fabrics. Their differentiation is FR, which is treated, and IFR, which is not treated. I only use IFR fabrics on my clothing line because treated fabrics, the chemicals can wash out. We do have some fabrics that claim they can last hundreds of washes. I have some here that I can burn. I'm going to show you guys uh, Nomex, Kevlar, and Aramid. We may have seen these names around and you don't know what the difference is. Aramid is the building block of Nomex and Kevlar. This is an Aramid underlayer. It's hard to find just Aramid that's not Nomex or Kevlar. Um, and you'll see why it can be eroded through, but when it gets eroded through, it won't continue to burn. The definition of a flame retardant fabric is it won't continue to burn when you remove the ignition source. So this piece of Nomex sat on my stove for an hour and it eroded a hole, but it never once caught on fire. So you can wear through and erode flame retardant fabrics you can soak it in fuel and it'll, the fuel will burn out of it and it will appear to ignite, but actually the fibers themselves don't burn. Now this is a thermal underlayer designed for the military and you'll see it's not that safe on its own, but as an underlayer it is safe. That was fuel transfer. And the leather underneath was burning with fuel transfer. Aramid can become brittle and break after a lot of exposure to the flame. brittle. Another burn and it'll break through. Nomex and Kevlar are so resilient to heat I'm gonna switch to a blowtorch to make this more interesting. Charred but really not damaged. If that was up against a any other fabric, the wearer would be in big trouble. The thing is, Kevlar is naturally yellow. This black dyed Kevlar, I have just burnt the dye out of it. And this is a blue dyed Nomex. This is Carbonex. It looks a lot like the Kevlar, feels like almost cotton. It's made from carbon fiber. It only comes in black because it's like charcoal. And you can't dye, you can't flame bleach the dye out of it. No damage. Carbonex has twice the heat resilience as Kevlar and Nomex. It is very cutting edge material, very pricey, but it can save you against a lot of exposure to heat. Now I want to go into some fabrics not to use for clothing that are flame retardant. Duvetine is great for extinguishing flames, especially when it's heavy but when you, if it gets wet, the chemicals wash off. It is usually made with a non-toxic flame retardant, but myself included and many other people have a skin sensitivity to it, and you could break out in a heat rash from wearing it. Other fabrics include fiberglass. We all know fiberglass is itchy. You don't want to wear that. And then there are tricky fabrics, like this acoustic fabric. It's sold as a flame retardant fabric, and it can be used on ceilings of showrooms and to cover speakers mostly and allows sound to travel through. It is designed to liquefy, it's designed to melt without igniting. This is sold as flame retardant. So just because you buy a flame retardant fabric doesn't mean it's actually safe. So do your homework and stick with Nomex, Kevlar, Carbonex.
Stay away from things that are made for curtains. You don't want this on your body. And that pretty much wraps it up. Um, oh, one last thing about fit and finish is spandex. Hoopers, I know you love your leggings. But, and fit and finish is the reason why you usually don't hear about spandex leggings catching on fire because they're tight around your legs. And most hoopers, maybe they don't come in contact with the, with the wicks very much, but one thing to consider if you're at a spin jam or in a, in a fire circle is it might not be your prop that catches you on fire. Or it might be that accident you had earlier with fuel that you've forgotten about that will catch you on fire. So lastly, I wanna burn the spandex. Now we call spandex, this whole fabric spandex, but it's actually a nylon polyester blend with less than 10% spandex. You'll never find a fabric that's more than 10% spandex because it would be like latex. I pulled it tight over the skin so that it simulates wearing leggings. Yeah, galaxy leggings don't look so cool anymore when they're actually dripping flames. Hoopers, I know you like leggings, but how much do you like your legs? You don't want that on your legs. That would all be blisters. All right, I hope you've sat through this whole thing and been entertained by all the burning swatches. Thanks again to Dr. Mermaid. And uh, there'll be a glossary of terms with every fabric and what's synthetic and what is natural. You can find it on the Fire Safety Discussion Group on Facebook and we'll link it below this video. Thank you.